When you open the kiln, it's always Christmas. It's always great moments. It's always exciting. My name is Marie Drolet, and I'm a ceramic artist from Wakefield, Quebec. Ceramics is one of the only art that used the four elements in the process. So the earth, water, air, and fire. I often say that the material is alive. Uh, even if it's only earth, it has a life in itself. And it's really humbling to listen to what the material has to tell you because the pieces you make will move while drying, will move in the firing, will change their shape. And the firing is the whole transformation of the matter. So there's half of the work that you do and half of the work that you let the material or the nature or the forces of nature do. You learn to control what you can, and you learn to let go what you can't control. You also learn to see it as a blessing. For uh, the vase, usually I don't plan what I'm, I'm making. I just uh, go with the flow and I let the, the piece talk to me about what it wants and where it wants to go. And it's all about a conversation with the piece and uh, to be listening to what it wants. I throw them on the wheel first and I wait for a few days. I trim the foot and then I carve in them to get some patterns and to get some different thicknesses to get some different effects of translucency. Translucency is really fascinating for me because uh, the clay is a physical body and a physical body should not let the light go through. And that's a little bit the same thing for us. We have a physical body, but we also have a divine light inside of us that should be able to get out and to be free. What's interesting with the vase is that the light comes from the inside. And I think that for us, it's the same thing too. We need to seek it inside ourselves. For the tile, for this one I was inspired by a church in Germany called Salem and there's a beautiful stained glass there so I was inspired by that stained glass so I made a drawing first and then I transferred it on clay and carved in it. For me it speaks of the capacity of the intellect, the human intellect to imagine things of beauty and things that are really complex. I think beauty is a divine attribute, and I think beauty will speak directly to people's souls and maybe awaken their souls that is buried under a pile of suffering.
In the contemporary world, everything wants us to be more materialist and to forget the real reason why we are on Earth. And the real reason is to get the connection back with our souls. So I hope that when the people see the porcelain, that the beauty and the light will awaken something in themselves and that they will feel that they need to go back to their inner divine spark and talk to it.